Okay, YouTube, what's going on? It's Mesa back at it with some Division. All right, guys, got a lot of stuff to cover in this video. Uh, this is about update 1.3 for the Division only on PS4. I'm not talking about Xbox. I have an Xbox, but I don't have the Division on it. I play on PS4. And I'm actually happy that we got this update and we don't get the DLC for a little bit. And it'll make sense in a little bit here. Um, we're going to go through all my uh, gear. I've got just a... I hit 255 gear score pretty much within the first day, okay? And got a full set of Lone Star gear. I know Lone Star is not the greatest, but I am enjoying not having to reload anything ever again. And I got my weapon damage mitigation up to 75% and having a grand old time. So we're going to talk about that. Also got myself just a brutal, just, well, not literally, not literally the talent brutal. Just a brutal G36 assault rifle, which just destroys anything. But you guys already probably know that thing's getting a nerf supposedly this week. And this paratrooper... I was about to say paratroopa with my New York accent. Paratrooper um, sniper rifle, marksman rifle. That's, oh, man, it's really good. And I re-rolled it. And that's another thing. We're going to talk about re-rolling. So I'm really liking this update so far. So strangely enough, I'm happy that the DLC is not here yet. And the reason being is because me and my crews, crews, pr uh, plural, I have m multiple crews that I run with in the division, we're all gearing up so that when we do finally get the underground, we do get the new DLC, we're going to be pretty well geared to go into it, you know? I've been watching a lot of the streams on Xbox, and man, I can't wait to play the underground. Can't wait to play the new Incursion. Can't wait to play all the new stuff. So addicted to this game. I know I'm a Destiny channel, but hey, that's what keeps me uh, not getting bored of Destiny. It's because I mix it up with playing this game a ton, okay? But yeah, you know, I'm happy that we're getting that we actually are delayed in terms of getting DLC because we get the update, we get the new gear score items, and we can really gear up before. And I must have said gear like 20 times there. That's that's being redundant. Um, because I don't script any videos, that's why. Babble mode, uh, is that I could gear up before the actual DLC hits. So, my crew and I, we just been farming the hell out of DZ06, okay? And DZ06 is my tag phrase, hairier than a Chia Pet, okay? Uh, the enemies are 35s, really tough. Um, you gotta go in there with a crew. Uh, I haven't really played solo at all in the lower DCs, but there's really no point. You gotta play in DZ06, because that's where all the 268 stuff is dropping, and all the 229 weapons are dropping. But... Believe it or not, there's a lot of rogues out there too. So all my gear's been coming from the Dark Zone and DZ06, but also the HVTs. Uh, the first weekly one that costs you, I think it was 59 intels, that boss alone and his little minions or whatever around him, they dropped three set items. Okay, I forget what the numbers were. I, I, I knew I should have recorded it, but some of my gear came from there, but for the majority of it, it's all coming from DZ06, whether it's from supply drops, bosses that are guarding supply drops, or just bosses in DZ06. So if you didn't know, from one of the vendors back all the way, they opened up a whole new section of the uh, base of operations. You can buy yourself these weapon kits, okay? Then with the weapon kits, you can go up and then recalibrate talents on your weapons, which is great because my uh, paratrooper, uh, sniper rifle, um, it didn't have really good perks. The main one, which doesn't change, which is the bottom one, was is good. But the top two were locked, so I was able to re-roll it and actually get deadly on it. So right now, I'm pretty much using the uh, G36. I'm going to show you everything in a minute here. G36. Here, I'm actually just showing you how you do the whole recalibration process. Was that you pick something, and then you re-roll it. Now, for the first re-roll on this one, I didn't get anything I particularly liked. Okay, So I'm going to re-roll it again. And of course, it obviously keeps costing you more Phoenix credits. So I'm actually going to go back and do some more of the story missions or challenge modes and stuff like that to get more Phoenix credits. Now, right now, the challenging modes of the incursions are not dropping uh, the 268s, okay? I think they're still dropping 240s. There's a heroic version, which uh, we're not stepping in just yet, okay? We're going to wait to get geared up a little more. Uh, here I am. I'm just keep, I'm, I'm keeping re-rolling. I'm burning through Phoenix credits here, but I eventually get deadly on that paratrooper uh, marksman rifle, and I absolutely love this thing. Did it finally come up here? Yeah, this is it. So I choose deadly, and this thing's pretty good to go. Uh, as for SMGs, man, my AUG just got nerfed to the ground, so I finally had to ditch it, but I've been using this police T. 821 which is it's not great it's not bad but i got some decent perks and rolls on it so just from farming for two days in the dark zone you can see it pretty much got a ton of 229 weapons so i'm good with the weapon department and if you don't like the rolls in it just go and recalibrate it buy yourself a weapon kit re-roll it until you get something that i like so this g36 is just ridiculous i mean the amount of dps and then when you tack on smart cover if you're using that lately we've been using that in the dark zone because you need that extra damage especially when you're trying to take down 35s or if you get a uh, supply drop in dz06 ooh, it gets hairy so there's my power trooper i've been using that uh, it sounds really cool it doesn't have very much recall at all and i adore the thing 
So I finally have some skill power, okay? <laughs> My previous builds, all I had was like 11,000. I got 26,000 now. 243,000 is coming from my uh, G36, and then I've got about 356 when it comes to my toughness. My weapon damage mitigation is at 75%, but here I'm just scrolling through and you see all the 268s I got. So right now I'm rocking four piece Lone Star. Uh, and Lone Star, the main perk of that is uh, you don't have to reload. As soon as you stow your weapon, within a split second, the thing reloads. So it does come in pretty handy, especially with the marksman rifles, because I always find that the marksman rifles, they just take forever to reload. I also got a couple, I got two pieces of the Alpha Bridge, okay? And if you didn't know what the Alpha Bridge set does, when you get all the pieces, or and this is what I understand it to do, is that if you have two weapons equipped of the same weapon type, right? Say you have two SMGs together, right? And you have all, let's see, three perks, oh no, three talents and three talents unlocked on each of those SMGs. Both SMGs gain all of the talents. So basically, each of those SMGs will gain six talents, or I think that's how it was explained to me. I don't know. I don't have the full four-piece set. I only have two pieces, but supposedly that's what it does, is if you've got two weapon types. But I don't know why anyone would want to do that, because you're going to burn through ammo really fast. So that's it for this video, guys. So let me know in the comment section what you guys think. You know, I'm not a Division channel. I'm a Destiny channel. I upload this sporadically. You know, when it comes to my go-to channels for The Division, it's going to be Skill Up. It's going to be Arix Gaming. Those guys are the ones I go to to pretty much figure out what I need to buy, what I need to recalibrate, what's good, what's not good. But for me, man, I just I love this game. Any looter shooter, man, I am addicted to. So uh, as for coverage, you know, I'll do a video here and there. If you want me to, uh, I'll stream some of this stuff. I streamed it last week. Um, I, You know, we like to go and farm the DZ for a bit. Then when it gets a little boring or we've got enough of our gear, then we want to go down into lower dark zone and have some fun. Get into some trouble, go rogue, kill rogues, and have fun. So that's it, guys. So let me know what you guys think. And let me know if you want more Division stuff in the comment section. Okay, so that's it for me. Drop a like in this video only if you see fit. Follow me on the Twitter at Mazetron. Check out my stream, usually on YouTube. And that's it. I'm out of here like Vladimir.